Now that's how you do an intro. I love that title intro. The music and the intro fit in quite well. It's so ominous when it starts. Dum, dum, you have the synthesized chord. Uh, and, then it, and then it gets rock. Synth rock. But this is it. This is season four of Now Let Us Look Back At. And we've come back to the Metroid Prime series with Prime 2. Echoes. My favorite Prime game. Really, your favorite? Yeah, I'd say this one's my favorite. Hmm. Right now, I'd probably say it's my least favorite, but that doesn't mean I dislike it. Um, I've played Corruption in such a long time. I'd have to replay it again in order to, to get a better idea. Oh man, I always thought this menu was cool. I still, I mean, but come on, can we, can we honestly say that the menu theme from Prime One is not the best? It's the best for Metroid, but I do like this one playing right now. So I'm like, I have to figure out which file to erase. I'm like, eh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> System's ready. System ready. Hard? Oh, heck no, normal. <laughs> Hard's for next time. Hard. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Mission file, some numbers. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to use a bounty hunter. You know, Samus the first gotta... game to actually do a contract. <laughs> Not that that lasts for very long. Yeah, but but it's still a contract. Data confirmation. So I can't remember. Isn't a isn't a rogue planet a planet that doesn't orbit a star? I think so. How does that work? Oh, uh, you know it's the future when you see the hexa uh, when you see the hexagons. <laughs> We're scientific. Yeah, this is when her ship looks. Uh, the interior looks a lot different. Looks more like something you'd see in a Resident Evil movie. Oh, we found the target. <laughs> Resident Evil movie. That's pretty low praise. No, uh, just just the uh, just the uh, the techie screen thing. Just the techie screen. Well, the techie screen is gone. That looks you like know, a lovely place to go visit on holiday. You know, I was never really a fan of the ship in this game, Samus' ship. I agree. Sure, the uh, Prime 1, like, I like quad, the, Prime the, the, lot. Quad, uh, the quad booster things can look a little funny with some standby. But compared to the three bulbous things at the bottom. But yeah, and I'm not much of a uh, rocket engineer, but I'm going to assume that it's nice going, Samus, you're broken. Yeah, well, I guess but, technically but... the planet broke it, but... <laughs> <laughs> and then Samus broke something of theirs. Hold on, let me make a new skylight in this room. <laughs> See, now, now does the spaceship really need friggin' shock absorbers? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what I was gonna say is, uh, I'm not a rocket engineer, but I I felt like, at least... What's this? No power suits. Straight to Varia? <laughs> this is the second game. We get promotion. Yeah, Samus decided to keep her suit, and... But we got, we ditched the superhero jump. Suit, apparently. Uh, she did the superhero... Hey, the Varia suit looks a lot different than the first game. It's a little thinner, and I do approve. I, mean, I do too. The, it's okay, the, uh, the bulk was okay, um, in the original, but... Mm, having it a little thinner isn't bad either. I the arm like cannon's the... a lot smaller, which is probably better. It was quite... Long. I do like how everything did get a trim, get a lot trimmed down. Though I, f and the arm cannon's still a good sized, un unlike the other it, M1. Well, I say it still looks like it's got weight and power behind it. Uh, I was about to make a comment about other M, but it's like the other M seems too thin. It is, especially the arm cannon. Like, it, if she were to have a fist where it's, the arm cannon is, there's only like two inches of clearance before the tip of the cannon. She ain't using Kamehameha waves. <laughs> Kamehameha! <laughs> Looks like we got some wicked gas down here also, LJ. Oh, ominous. Uh, oh, there's dead things on the ground. Elvis would approve of this gas. Why does it smell like farts in here? <laughs> oh, it's the, uh, the shoot the door lock things again. Yep. Oh, it's only two this time? <laughs> Keep it classy, uh... You know you're in a video game when you shoot locks in order to open doors. More dead splitters, splinters. I mean, I guess technically we're not supposed to know what they are, but... 
I have this right. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, there's going to be spoiler alerts uh, in a, let's see, math. Is this 2004? Four. Yeah. So in a 12, eventually soon to be 13-year game sometime next year. <laughs> so good for a 2004 game. Well, the GameCube definitely benefited the Metroid games. Um, or maybe I should rephrase it. The Metroid games benefited themselves. They tended to have uh, very closed-in environments, which means you didn't have to spend a lot of resources on skyboxes. So you yeah. could put a little bit. You could put a lot more detail in the rooms, and the fact well, that each room is actually like a load zone, and so just some GF troopers hanging around, <laughs> just hanging out. Oh yeah, this is the only place you ever find these little critters. Yeah, the uh, the, the what are they? Worker splinter. That's right. Yeah. The... Which is literally just a splitter with a transparent uh, color. They're albino. Yeah. You know, I love how uh, to activate switches and stuff in this game, you just, well, in any Metroid game, you pretty much either shoot it or you look hard into it. <laughs> I just, just stare at it and it works. Just look at it angrily or, <laughs> and all. <laughs> oh, oh, crap, Sam's just staring at us. I, I, I have a little bit of a, of a, of a scanning OCD. <laughs> but let's scan things. Let's scan things. Scan it. Well, I, I gotta admit, in every Metroid game, that you you do have to scan everything. Uh, now, granted, when we say Metroid, we're primarily referring to the Metroid Primes, because well, they've been the most they've they've been the most prominent, obviously, over the past decade. Well, I was I was first exposed to Metroid this way too. <laughs> so does this seem like real Metroid to you, quote unquote? A good impression of a Metroid, yeah. Because I've also played the Game Boy Metroid Fusion and the... Uh, I was going to play M2R until Nintendo's like, no, no. Hey, Aaron, you know what's worse than a flaming zombie? Um, uh, evil zombie zombie? Space possessed zombies. Hey, space zombie is one of those ones that at least doesn't sound too overtly ridiculous when you had the word space in front of it. Yeah. Versus, like, space elf. Space, space plumber. Space plumber. <laughs> space janitor. For some reason, space dragon also works, surprisingly. Maybe this is why the concept of Ridley is not completely yeah. ridiculous. I kind of like how this part, the music's still going, even after you kill those guys. So you sort of like, wait, it's not over yet? Oh, it's not so over To the new yet. players. This is a... If you think about it... Um, I don't think you had to fight anything for quite a bit of time in the freaking Orphean, so uh, pure time-wise, if I'm not incorrect, uh, they actually get you into some action pretty quickly. Yeah, because back, your... back at the uh, spaceship in the first game, it was, uh, yeah, the only real enemies out there were the either the Parasite Queen or the... Uh... You do run into some wounded pirates, I think, in the containment lab, but it takes longer to get there than it takes to get to this room. Yeah, and it's just like they're, they're wounded. They're they're like yeah, they even just from death. Yeah, you're just putting them out of their misery. Maybe Samus is a nice person. With <laughs> as she shoots rockets at people. Maybe she's not so monotone as we think. I also, if my memory serves me correctly, um, just the facial expressions that you can see through the visor. I generally yeah, liked it the lot. Prime games a lot better. I feel like I feel like she was staring too blankly too often in other M. She well, she would. I mean, she was no supposed motion. to be thinking, but the representation of that is sort of a blank. I'm staring off into nothing. Look, I do that because I'm a normal person. Same as yeah, supposed to be a normal person. She's supposed to be a cool person. Yeah, she was raised by bird persons. She's raised by bird people, given bird DNA. And look at that. She she even walked into like the the this. Spaceball thing because she's like, Hey, you're not me, I'm me. Get Weird. the hell, get the fuck over here. <laughs> Weird glowing here. purple pink. You know, this is the first time Sam has ever failed. First time in, and she fails going through a portal. <laughs> Noob. As in, like, she stumbles out of it? Oh, uh, the finger monsters. Finger monsters? I mean, I don't know who you're referring to, but. Oh, the little buggers up top. Are they supposed to represent, kind of look like 
hand, do you think? Ups uh, is that was that maybe a design inspiration? I think it was. I actually not since you said this has that ever actually really crossed my mind. I've always kind of thought like, what exactly are they supposed to look like? Yeah, like hand monsters. Like when they possess something, always have the representation when they're not goo monsters. That is Sam literally grabbing and they're about to grab Samus. Oh yeah, they're like, oh boy, oh boy, the things down. <laughs> Has Samus ever heard of a bukake? <laughs> Don't doggy pile Samus. Those were the lucky ones. Bad things happen. Samus post bukake. Apparently, yeah, she. I done been mugged. Yeah, going back to like the. You know, I also like how in this game, whenever she moves, you hear like. You actually hear armor oh, clacking. I like that. The jump. Like, the, she, there's a jump off the spaceship at the very beginning of the first one, too. Um, granted, you're in space, so maybe you can get away with it, but when she does the jump here, you know, they really nail the, the heavy weight of her armor with that oomph. You know, this really shows, like, how It's like she's always... agile, but it's like she's agile and wastes a ton. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, her movements and everything. You actually feel like... She's wearing a suit of armor, not a, not a, uh, not a tin can. Zero, zero G tin. <laughs> I just this, suit. this is just aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe it is made of aluminum because I'm pretty sure um, our entire defenses are just really powerful energy shields, and once those fail, we die in a single hit. <laughs> yeah, so the suit's mainly there for just uh, like climate control. Climate control and. Uh, I guess, yeah, climate control, I was going to solve this thing. And you know, I like protecting to think them that, from the vacuum of space, but... You, can you know, I like to think when the suit's blinking, saying, like, low energy, right when you're, like, at 25% health. Well, 25% on your last energy tank. Yeah. I like to think that when it's blinking, that means all the shields have shut down, and that's literally your armor now taking the blows. Ah, uh, is that canon now? It better be. <laughs> Nintendo, if you're listening, I have very good ideas. <laughs> People steal my ideas. People, please steal my ideas. <laughs> no, they do steal my ideas, and it works out. I want to cash in for once. <laughs> you gotta copyright it, man. I can't. Uh, Nintendo's got the copyright. That Samus thinks immensely into that switch. That doesn't doesn't matter. You just be a patent troll. No, we do not encourage patent trolling. I extremely frown upon it. Do we, should we talk about current events? <laughs> Uh, we could talk about current events. Darn it, what would I... What would the actual situation... Uh, oh yeah. Steam apparently getting sued because some... Because British Telecommunications, which has apparently been around since, like, the dawn of technology. Something like 1800. Or when... Insert yeah. date on text here. <laughs> Insert when people can hear things. Um... Is apparently yeah, suing uh, uh, Steam because over four patents that they have, and uh, I I watched the No uh, from Rooster Teeth, and uh, so I watched this story. Uh, I'll try to remember to link it in the description, so that way you can go watch it if you haven't seen it already. Anyway, uh, they read the four patents in dispute, and I'm like, what the heck is that supposed to even mean? <laughs> like, I don't even understand this. How was it? How was a judge supposed to make a judgment on this? It's incomprehensible. It's well, like that's and, 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 then, now. and then there's also it's like the fact that not only is it incomprehensible, if you do understand what it says, it's like that is literally anything. <laughs> well, that is not well, a patent. A panic. A panic. A pan. A panic. Panic. <laughs> oh man, he got the shit end of the stick. Look at him. He's all mangled from rocks. He's like, no, this is like 127 days. I don't want to chop my leg off. Oh, wait, I'm dead. It doesn't matter. Oh, wait, I'm dead. Um, spoiler. It's going to be the end of the episode already. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, things go five fast, man. Oh, man, it's only been like 15. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's been like 15 minutes. How about that? This Next is cool, Allah. Next time we'll have to figure out what's going on with that crate and big thing in the background, apparently. I'm gonna call it Kuala. The well, tree of many roots. The tree of many roots.
or maybe until... it's maybe it's Norse. So would that make it Yggdrasil? It could be Yggdrasil, or is it Drusil? I think it's Drusil. It, it Hard might. to pronounce Scandinavian slash Nordic words. <laughs> Let us consult the Oracle, aka Wikipedia. Ah, it's, that's useful. Anyway, thanks for watching. Elder, no, do you have I'm... any any words? Uh, what 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 should they expect in this series before we sign out on our pilot episode here? Fanboying, lots of fanboying. Oh boy, should I keep you in check? Is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a confrontation? You know, because this is kind of my least favorite, but this is your favorite. Yeah, there, there might be a bit of clashing. Uh, and that's always and, exciting. And remember, it's, I don't really dislike it. It's just, you know, it's on the bottom of the totem pole of the three. But for me, it's on top. It's on top, on top of the totem pole. All right. That may be the subject of several videos here upcoming. Uh, yeah, so no more weird silences. Hopefully. The lambs. Other Aaron, it's up to you. Yep. Use your editing magic. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. And we'll find out and... what happens with big boxes next oh, time. Oh, and a new one. Don't forget to share. We need help. We all we all want people to love us. Just like you want people to love you. <laughs> we want to be your friend. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Next time, I'm dumping phase on. <laughs> I killed them all <laughs> with my bare hands. <laughs> all right, uh, uh. I'm taking a nap. It's time to take a nap. Bye bye. Yeah, th this isn't Elvis. This is like, uh, uh, Iggy. <laughs> like Iggy Pop. Oh, Th Iggy. These space aliens don't like classic rock and roll. They like oh, punk. The punk. Punklians. I wonder what this elevator. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>